multiplying and dividing decimals. To multiply two decimals, for example, we have 3.4 and we want to multiply that one by 1.8. To multiply these two, line them up first. 3.4 times 1.18. Now, ignore the decimal point. Let's say that there is no decimal point here and just multiply these two numbers, the two digit numbers, 8 times 4 is 32, write 2, keep 3. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 3 is 27. 0, put 0, and do the same thing for 1. 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 3 is 3. Now add these two, you get 2, 4 and 7 is 11, just write 1, keep 1, and that one is 6. 612. But let's take a look at the decimal digits. Here we have one decimal digit, 4. And this one is another decimal digit, 8. So we have two decimal digits. Let's start from the right place and separate two decimal digits. So here we have 1 and 2. So put the decimal point here. 6.12 is the answer. 6.12 is the answer. Let's try another example. Let's say I have 1.6 and I want to multiply that one by 3.18. Again, ignore the small point. So just write 318 times 16. Do the multiplication. 6 times 8 is 48. Keep 4. Then 6 times 1 and 4 is 10. Write 0, keep 1. 6 times 3 is 18, so it is 19. Put 0. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 1 is 1. And 1 times 3 is 3. Add these two up. You get 8, 8, 0, because 9, is, 9 plus 1 is 10. Write 0, keep 1. 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 3 is 5. Now let's take a look at the decimal points. Here we have two decimal digits. And here we have one. So we have three decimal digits. So separate three, one, two, three, and put the decimal point here. The answer is 5.088. That one is for dividing, uh, for uh, multiplying decimals. Now let's just divide two decimals. Let's say I have 1.8, and I want to divide that one by, let's say, 0.6. The easiest way to divide these two is just multiply both by the same number. So 1.8, if you multiply it by 10, you actually move the small point to the right. So 1.8 times 10 is 18, divided by 0.6, multiply by 10, you get 6. The answer is 3. So 1.8 divided by 0.6, the answer is 3. 18 divided by 6 is the same thing as 1.8 divided by 0.6. Another example. Let's say this time I have 64, uh, 6.4 and I want to divide that one by, let's say, 0.8. Again, the easiest way, just multiply these two by 10 to remove the small point. So 6.4 divided by, multiplied by 10, you actually move the small point to the right. So it becomes 64 divided by, and 0.8 times 10 is just 8. 64 divided by 8, the answer is 8. Now, let's take a look at another example. Let's say this time I have 42, a whole number, and I want to divide it by, this time, let's say we want to divide that one by, uh, mm, 2, for example, point 0.2, 0 0.2. So 42 divided by point 0.2 or 0 0.2. Dividing these two, simply do the same process. Multiply these two by 10, you get 420 divided by 2. And if you just divide them long, long division, you get 210. So when you divide, you just need to uh, have a whole number for a divisor. So this one is divisor and that one is dividend. So the divisor must be a whole number. But if the dividend is the dividend is 
uh, a decimal, doesn't matter. Let's take a look at another example. Let's say, in this case, I have 64 point, let's say, 8. And I want to divide it by 2. This time, the divisor is a whole number. So you don't need to change this. You can actually multiply these two by 10, and you get 648 divided by 20. And then you can easily solve it. Or you can just use long division, 64.8 divided by 2. So 2 goes into 6 3 times, so you get 6. Subtract it, you get 0. Bring down the next digit, 4. 2 goes into 4 twice, so you get again 4. And the answer is 0, subtracting. Bring down the next digit, but we have a decimal point here. So we need to put a decimal point there. So if you have a decimal point here, 2 goes into 8 4 times. So 4 times 2 is 8, and then the result is 0. So the final answer is 32.4. 32.4 if you divide 64.8 by 2.